Hello, it's Sarah. And today I wanted to just do a little project share. I have made myself a bunch of little book charms. And I did a tutorial for them that I'm also going to post. Because I hadn't really seen anything like this. Uh, especially a tutorial for it. And I saw um, the video that I saw on minialbumscraps.ning.com. Um, I was on the site and one of the swaps that they're doing this month is to make four little teeny tiny mini books with real pages. And the hostess, Mary, had put up a video uh, to see what she was talking about. And that video is by Leah, L-I-A, Cordell. And it's her romance, Chunky Charm. I guess she did... Uh, a chunky charm swap there and one of her chunky charms was this little book so Mary saw it and decided she wanted to do a swap with just the little book so I had been wanting to try them and was busy doing my Tim my Tim mini and all that stuff and and last night I was watching the Emmys and I just decided to make some little mini books so um, and then I did end up doing a tutorial as well because I just like I said I hadn't seen one out there and if you're not a member of Mini Album Scraps, you might not get to see it. So, basically, they're, um, the ones I made are one inch by one and a quarter. Um, the swap said no bigger than one by one and a half. Uh, and I didn't join the swap. I just wanted to make the books. Um, and I actually just have this little bin next, uh, next to me on my desk with scraps in it. Literally, like, little scraps of paper. And that's really all you need, and it's a great way to use them up. Um, and this is the first one I made, and I didn't put in the ribbon to close it because in, throughout the video, like, I went ahead and then she added that at the end. Well, she didn't add it at the end, but the way she had it placed in the video when she said it, I had already um, not done that. But anyway, so this one's just, like, glued shut. Um, but what you get is a little book. Let me see. I like this one. Um, so I just picked some scraps out of This is from the um, Once Upon a Time uh, paper stack. And I actually used my sticky back canvas for the ones once I got rolling because it just is more pliable and it moves. But you have these little moving pages inside. I have five pages in mine. I guess if the bigger the paper, the, the bigger, the more pages. And I mean, they're really made pretty nicely. Like they have the inside cover is uh, covered with paper too. And you have this little tie and you can embellish them. So I just put a little bling on there. And... Um, what I ended up doing, I, I stamped this one with a love story. It's a Prima stamp and just put a heart. And you put your jump ring up on that, uh, the eyelet, and you have a little charm. Um, but then I started thinking, hmm, I could give these, and I'm, I am sending, I have to mail my tags, but I thought I'm going to make a little Halloween one. And this was just sitting on my desk. So I grabbed this paper. This has a little witch, and I just put distress stickles on it. Um, and there's a bat on the back with some orange paper. And this one has a wizard on it. And I just put these three little crystals on there with some distress stickles again. But then I had to run over and grab my uh, Graphic 45 paper. Because Graphic 45 paper is just gorgeous for this stuff. And they usually do have a little, little images that you can cut out or fussy cut out. So on this one, I did fussy cut out the actual, this, this little piece here because just to center it on the front of the book and that says happy hauntings as you can see and I just stress stickled the little cobweb and I think I put a little bit on the spider too but and then inside I just backed the uh, covers with the checkerboard paper oh, fumble fingers my fingers are actually like a little sore from pushing so much I made so many and from squeezing all these pages together it's funny so that's the inside and then you just put your little jump ring on there so it's a little book. But look at these little images. It's so cute. And I just put stickles and glitter on her. On her hat and the pumpkin. And this little boy and the little cat. So I just um, quick grabbed a piece of paper and cut these little images out. I made a couple Halloween little books with some orange ribbon. They're really cute. This one has a little saying on the back. But basically, I mean, that's it. I just wanted to share. They're, they're really, like, you can kind of assembly line them. 
you know, you cut all, you cut all your covers, you cut all the paper, you know, and you get it going, and they really come together kind of quickly, so that's all I wanted to do for right now, just share that, and like I said, I'm going to post the tutorial, um, for anyone who's interested in making some of these little book charms. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.